My makeup looking crazy. This is pretty cool. Guys, look, I've got a new ring light. Can you see the reflection from my eyes? You can't even see me back here. Thank you, Wills. Thank you, Wills, for my ring light. Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. My name is Sandra and um, yeah, Willis is here. Willis is here today to do a sit down vlog. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why, but I'm really nervous. So um, today's vlog is kind of like an update on our journey as an unequally-ish yoked couple. Like I wouldn't say we're like 100% unequally yoked. Like, we first started off like that, but it's just, like, slowly merging into something beautiful. So, um, unequally-ish yoked. You're beautiful. <sighs> <Stop it. laughs> I'm just stop. playing. I'm just playing. Seriously, I need to focus. Well, stop. I'm just being so, um, yeah. Uh, how's about Willis got asked by our pastors to, um, share his testimony on tithe and um he didn't even tell me he didn't even tell me and so like um praise and worship was on church has started and we were just sitting down i was just in my zone and then um my pastor was standing up and she was like okay her name's tony she's incredible love our pastors anyway they were standing up on stage and then um Pastor Tony just called Willis up on the stage and then Willis got up and said surprise like he whispered surprise in my ear and I'm just like what I was so caught off guard guys I, I can't even believe it like I still can't believe it and I recorded it but um I think it's just something that we just want to keep close to our hearts and we're probably not going to share what he um his actual like testimony maybe later down the road but right now nah just gonna keep it close to our hearts and like so um yeah i'm gonna ask like a few questions and hopefully willis comes up with some other questions that he may want to ask me i don't know can i have some grapes so um yeah some grapes so willis mm. what position are you in right now i'm a baby christian Baby. Okay then, Baby what do you mean by that? Elaborate for the people that don't know what that is. I'm just beginning to start a relationship with God, I guess. What the heck has happened? Like what, Willis, what the heck has happened? Like guys, there's been so much that's happened in the past, what, two weeks, month? That I haven't really like shared. Usually I like share so much on Instagram. But then I know when I shouldn't share certain things. And it's because it's like something that is just so important to me. And it's just like so sacred and precious. Like I'm literally keeping it close to my heart. But literally this is an update. I'm just not telling you everything that's happened. But yeah, it's been a crazy ride. Like the past two weeks, like I'm like mind blown. I can't believe it. So you're a baby Christian and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Just learning. Still got a few toes out in the world. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not fully like like you, you know what I mean? I still do things that aren't, you know, part of the walk, I guess. Yeah. And it's so funny, though, because, like, you would think... Okay, because basically, Willis and I tithe. And tithe is where you give 10% of your income um, back to God. It's like the first fruits of your, of your like finances. So like a biblical thing that um, Christians practice. And um, we just, like this just happened to be, like you know how you'd only think like hardcore Christians would go up on stage and share? But yeah. this just happens to be our testimony. Like Willis started tithing when he was, yeah, what were you like when you started tithing? Like where were you at? I just did it because of you. Yeah, like, so basically you just... I just thought if I was going to spend money on what I wanted to do, you know, different things, I guess. Got to spend, put money into what you wanted to do, I guess. Because I was spending a lot of money 
elsewhere. Mm. Things that aren't, you know, yeah, related to being Christian. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, yeah, that's why I was tithing because pretty much just keep you happy, man. Yeah, and so like, but then after that, we started to see um, God bless every area of our lives, really. I just put it this way. Like financially, career-wise. Um, yeah. I'll put it this way for everyone to, to understand. I'm a baby Christian, right? So I only started like really believing, believing because where we are now, this lady here already said we we're going to be here about I don't know what, five years ago or six years ago, I don't know, when you started praying for all this, I was like... What do you mean? Like how I told you that... You told me that this was going to happen, like... Like God told me that... Yeah. Well, this so when you come happen. and tell me that, oh, God told me that, um, you know, you, your rugby is going to be this, you're going to be able to provide for us, blah, 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 like... I was, oh, I think I was, I'm going to cry. I don't want to cry. So, I think I am going to cry. I was God skeptical. is so good. I was skeptical. Like, I was like, yeah, okay. Okay, God oh, told you then. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, he was so was skeptical. Like, yeah, God told you then. Like, I was like that. I was like, he's not talking to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's not talking to you, buddy. No, but like... But then, as things starting to unfold, I mean, all, lots of things are coming true, so... You gotta, I don't know, makes you start believing, I guess. It was like God told me what was going to happen um, in the next season, eh? Yeah. And, um, and then I'd go back and I'd tell Willis. And I remember when he was so skeptical, like he would just be like, yeah, okay. Like he wouldn't say much. I didn't believe anything she was saying, like... <laughs> I just entertained her, like, yeah, okay, cool. When did Amazing. you start believing that, like, tithing was a real thing and know. that God was, like, a real living God, active God? I don't know. There was no certain time. It was just gradual. Like It just, was gradual. I didn't get a moment where I was like, blah, blah, blah. It was just like... Just realize, sort of. As as your wife, mm -hmm. um, did you ever, did you ever feel forced? I feel like I didn't force you as a Christian. I d I don't feel like I forced my beliefs on you. No. Like, ever. No, you didn't force me, at all. You forced me to stay home on Saturday nights, but... Yeah, but that didn't work, because you'd <laughs> sneak out. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that uh, things are slowly starting to change. Um, yeah. So when, when Tony asked you, Pastor Tony asked you, if um, you wanted to share, mm. what, what was going through your mind? I can't even believe you actually got up on stage. 100% and shared. no, because remember, she asked me. Can you pass my tea, please? She asked me once already. Yeah. And I said no. I said, yeah, I'll get back to you. But in my head, I was really like, nah, I can't. Because if you don't know not... Willis, like literally, guys, he's, he's not a. Uh... Public speaking. Yeah, he's not an extrovert. Like, I'd say I'm an extrovert. Like, I, I Not love... for me, man. He's an introvert. Especially, like, stuff I don't even really know about, like, tithing and that. I'm not 100%. Yeah. And I think you're only comfortable with vlogging because, like, it's just me and you. So it feels like a chat. Yeah. But if I could see all your guys' eyes, I would look away. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, even me. 
Uh, I'm only this confident because no one can see us. Mm. But if if there were like people in front of us, I'd be like a little mouse. But I can't watch someone watch us or watch myself. I know. I wish I'm playing rugby and shit. No, it's talking. Talking about mm. church. Um. Preseason? No preseason. Preseason pregnancy. Look at that. What's been the hardest thing when it comes to being married um, to a Christian? Because remember, w yeah, was it hard? Yeah. Me going from like hardcore like partying, drugs and all of this stuff to like full on Christian, like not going out, reading my Bible, going to a life group, speaking a different language, nah. drunk in the Holy you Spirit. Know, back, back then, I'll be honest, the hardest thing was going to church. Like having to go to church with you. It was like I don't force you. I know that, but I know later down the line when we have an argument or if but I you if I ever stuffed up, you won't you won't use it against me, but I'll feel this way. But and sometimes I just came to church to think ahead. But you loved it, like you loved listening to Pastor Luca though. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. When I got demon possessed, yeah. Pastor yeah. Luca is a, is a man that um, Luca Robertson and Joe Robertson, there are pastors back in Auckland. He was a man that um, delivered me. Well, not him, you know, like he was filled with the Holy Spirit and all of that. What was it? Where is it again? Hope Centre. Hope Centre. Hope Centre in Manuko. Or Tara. What else? Do you have any questions for me? Try and try and what ask me some what questions. Did what did you say? What did you say? I've just asked before. What was the hardest? Yeah. Yeah, that was one of them. There's heaps of hard things. Yeah, like what? Because I lived a different lifestyle. I felt felt like the bad parent. As in setting a good example and mm. um yeah, that would have been the hardest for me. Wow. It's like staying, like, because obviously in my Christian faith and walk, like, uh, before I used to get really drunk and all of that and I'd just make wrong decisions and stuff. And and then when it came to being a Christian, like, I knew God was calling me out of that. He called me out of that dark place. He He pulled me out of that dark place. So then when I was at home... You know, staying disciplined and stuff and fighting against the flesh. Because there were times, like, in the beginning, when you would go out and stuff, Wallace, and I'd stay home, like, I felt like I was missing out on something. But now, eh, hey, Wallace, like, I'm so... ...so disciplined that, um, but it took years. I'm so disciplined that when Willis goes out and stuff and I stay home, he comes back home and I tell him, like, I tell him, Willis, man, before I used to feel like I was missing out, but Willis, I'm living the life. I'm living the life staying home. What's me mean by staying home? Wake up, no hangover, go to church, hiss. I stay home heaps now too. Yeah, you stay home heaps now. From what I used to. Yeah. So it's been like a gradual thing. I think it was hard for me because I had to, like, I got radically saved. So, like, I was literally going this way and then got demon possessed, got delivered, and then I went this way. But Willis's journey has been different, eh? And I can't expect, I can't expect him to, to be that radical as well. Like, I have to respect Willis's journey. And I feel like I have. Yep. I feel like I honestly have, eh? It's better when it's natural progression instead of forced. Because I, I knew if I forced him, then it's not genuine. And yeah. I wanted you to like have a genuine love and adoration to like pursue Christ than me like, come on, go, go to this, go to that. It just had to happen organically. You need to have a full understanding before. Oh yeah, totally. Well, it's so funny though, because you don't really have a full understanding with tithe, but you just did it anyway. No. No, but remember, it wasn't until the brother Derek 
um, spoke, mm. and then I started like was it few few weeks ago, mm. about a month ago. Then everything started making sense. Yeah, like why things happened and yeah. Times we tired, then times I didn't tire. Sometimes you just don't know at the time until years later. What's the hard part about having someone that's not, you know, walking side by side with you in terms of your your walk with God, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. Okay. So like one of them would be like pouring out into the kids spiritually. Like I had to lead in that area. Mm. Like, if the girls didn't do devotion, if I didn't do devotions with the girls, then they weren't going to do devotions at all. And I remember I'd say to God, like, this has nothing to do with you, Wills. But I was just like, Lord, I'm sick of, like, leading spiritually. Like, I'd say that. But not because I'm, like, complaining about my husband, but I was just like, Lord, I don't want to carry this on my own type of thing. And then the other thing was what I explained. Remember when we first, um, when we first got here, I was like, no, nah, well, uh, she's not going out. I shared a little bit about that on the, our first sit down vlog together. And I was like, no, nah, well, uh, she's not going out. Um, I like literally put my foot down. I was so stubborn. And then God told me for like a good month, he was like, Sandra, you need to let him go. You need to let him go. Because um, I'm not a forceful God. He said, I'm not a forceful God. I don't control people and you're con being controlling. I think I already shared this, but I want to share it again just in case. And like, I cried. I threw a tantrum and all of that. And then I sat and I, and then I came to him. And like, Willis looks so miserable. Like, honestly, Willis, you like look so miserable. Like, that's what God told me. So I let him go. So that was the hardest part, Willis. Letting you go out, knowing that, like some of the some of that lifestyle is what led us to destruction, like what what really broke us down. But I just had to let go and let God. And here we are, guys. I just here realized. We are. Do you know the more you're being controlling, the more it was not making me wanna come towards church. Yeah. Towards that, and do you notice that? Once you let go and you let me do what I wanted to do, I started coming towards you. You know that? No. Uh, do you remember when you'd like ask me, you'd be like, babe, can I go to here and there and there and here and do this and do that and do this and that and that and that? And I'd be like, Willis, don't ask me. You're your own man. You need to make your own decisions. I'm not going to make these choices for you. You, you, need to, you need to live your life and you need to make your own choices. You're a grown ass man. I'm not going to stop you. That's a trick question, guys. No. Nah, it's a it's, trick it's, question. It's, it's, nah, it's not. <laughs> and then it was so funny because he was sit there like, oh. And you'd go and I'd be like, all right then. Love ya. And then I'll pray up a storm when he goes. So yeah. Do you have any more questions for me? Yeah. Heaps. How do you feel? How do you feel when I start like coming towards your area? Walls, your, I can't your, believe it. Your life. How, do you, how does it make you feel? <laughs> Wallace, I can't believe it. Like literally, I can't believe it. Like I can't even comprehend what's happening because it's happening too fast. Okay, real talk Wallace, I haven't even told you this. Guys, I think maybe like a month and month and a half ago, I was like, Lord, Lord, I'm getting impatient. I'm getting sick of this. Not sick of my husband, not sick of my marriage, but I was just like, I'm getting sick of like, like, you know, pouring into my kids spiritually on my own and leading. Because literally, this is what it's like, eh, Wills? Like, if there's someone who is Christian and someone who's not a Christian, this is how you go. That's how you go, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to chase that, I'm going to chase this. And then, like, my kids, like, I want, I'm, like, trying to, like, you know, pull my family this way without forcing it, obviously. But, um, what are you laughing at? Nah, you just reminded me of, like, you know, when people want to show off their nails and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, and, yeah. Nah, that's all, that's all oh, I was laughing about. But that's not why I was doing that. 
So I was like, Lord, I'm getting impatient, blah, 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 ready, ready, right. Like my, my heart felt long prayers turned into like, Lord Jesus, please, I need you. I can't do this anymore. You need to take over. I, this is out of my control. Please hear my cry, blah, 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 blah. Really short. Do you know what God said to me? Oh, guys. Do you know, he was like, I was sat here and he was like, I'm working a lot faster than you realize. And I was just like, okay. I think I still had a bad attitude. But then like I'm sitting here and I'm just like, whoa, what? So that's how I feel with this. Like I, I don't think I've even comprehended any, any of this because he's right. It, it's going really fast. Mm. Wait, okay, can I ask you something? How do you feel mm. like... <sighs> Because obviously, like, you're stepping into, more into your walk. Into your realm, yeah, into that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, like, how do you feel knowing that rugby starting and um, all the temptation that comes with it is coming? How do you feel? I feel stronger, I guess. Um, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah. I, I haven't really, um, I have put them together, like, God and my rugby, but I haven't really. Um, it's mainly just asking God to help me with my rugby. But I haven't really um, thought about the temptation side of things. Yeah, the 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 part of rugby that you know. Yeah, like once again, I I don't. I'm not gonna force it on you. I'm gonna let you. Make your own decisions. I'm not gonna expect anything, but um, yeah. I lef literally am gonna pray hard. I'm not gonna force it on myself. Like, I, I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to be fake. That's the last thing. Like, I, I don't want to be fake. I'm not gonna like pretend that I, you know, 100% I, I, I don't sold do, out. No, but I don't want to pretend that I don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. But do you no. know what I love though, Wills? I love that you know that there's a standard. I love that you know that if you were 100% sold out for Christ, do you think you'd still be doing those things or not? Well, I shouldn't be then. What do you mean? I wouldn't be then, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, like I love that he knows that there's, the sta there's a standard. Yeah. I just know that I won't, I can't get there without getting past these little barriers that I need to get. That, yeah, that are holding me back. Like I'm not gonna say that I am there. I'm, you know, when I am not there yet. I'm not. Yeah, and like I just wanted to say that. Um, I don't wanna pretend. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you guys that this is an authentic vlog, and um, I literally have opened up our journey, and so I don't want you to think like. Like, well, this is 150% sold out the way I am. Like, he's literally on his own journey. And I, as his wife, respect that. And so, um, yeah, I just want you to keep that in mind. But in saying that, I don't, I don't want, like, this, these videos to set a bad example as well. Yeah. Like, if there's any of you younger people there that, that, that see me and, you know, say, oh, he's still doing this or he's still that and he's still, like, you know, getting on in life, thinking it's okay. I, I don't. That's part of the reasons why I don't really like. You know, want to be too much into this vlogs until I'm at that level where you are. So I don't want to set a bad example for like any, you know, any even any husbands out there that. Because I know I know things I do is wrong, but just you're on a journey eh? it's just a journey I, I, things will stop at a certain time yeah just, you know i'm not gonna force it because then it'll come back stronger next time i, re I reckon you yes it would well well and it's so funny guys like we literally have just started reading the bible like yesterday but it's so funny, you know why you make me laugh with us? So he's like, yeah, do you want to read with me? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, yeah, sweet as. So then I go and sit down and read with him. And then he goes, 
And then he starts reading and then he goes, okay, I'm just going to turn around, face the other way and I'm going to read. And then I said to him, um, can we read together? And he was like, no, because I want to focus. So I'm just like, okay, then, well, I'll, what, what book are you reading? What chapter are you reading? I'll read as well. And then, um, he was like, yeah, okay. So he fully like asks me if I want to read and then he turns around and starts reading on his own. And it's so funny because he was reading and he's cracking up laughing. Mm. <laughs> he's cracking up laughing at some of the stories and, like, and he said, what did you say? You're like, honest to who the nah, because, the Bible is, is, mm. is full of deceit. And it's just like, um, he was just referring to all the drama and all the, what do you call it? The scandals. In the Bible, honestly, man, yeah, it's I, like... I thought the Bible was just like... Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Nah, bras. You know, nah. welcome to the good life. But then, that man, Joseph, was trying to get it from Mary. Yeah. That's the first one that I found out. I don't, I don't know anything. I just knew Mary and Joseph and Jesus. Yeah. I didn't know that there was a backstory and... Different details, eh? Details. Yeah. So it's, uh, I was just buzzing up. It's like watching a movie. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, that's what happened last night, guys. Like like I said, like so much has been happening. I'm not going to say everything, but I'm just like, Jesus, I see you. Yeah, do you have any other questions for me? You were meant to ask me the question. Um, yeah, how do you feel? What? How do you feel about everything? It's happened so know. naturally, eh, Willis? Yeah. It feels so natural. For me, it's always always got to be natural. I don't I don't like forced. Yeah. I don't like... Can't force you to do anything. Yeah. I won't speak about it if I don't... I only talk to you about certain, like, Christian topics and that uh, if it intrigues me or I am interested or, or I find something that I... I find something fascinating or I've, or, or I've realized yeah. something but other than that I don't know I feel normal I'm just on my journey I guess I can't even believe it this is buzzing me out guess the tough times will come when season starts yeah the battle off season you know I'm at home every yeah. day once the season starts. It's... Yeah. So if you didn't already know and you're new to the vlogs and stuff, um, Willis plays professional rugby. And so, um, you know, you already know all of the temptation that comes with the territory and stuff. So that's what he's referring to. But it's not only the temptation, it's just the culture. It's, it is the culture. It's like engraved it's into rugby. But like the even... drinking culture. But I'll and... be honest, even without the culture... Yeah, it's, it's always been me. Yeah, I've always been like, like he was. You were drinking and you were partying before we met, and all of this stuff. And so yeah, literally is. So it's not. It's not the. I'm not saying that rugby is like that. You know, it it is part of the culture, but it's not the reason. You why. were like that before. Yeah, it's not the reason why. Like, I still do certain things. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just my own decisions. I still can't even believe. I can't believe it. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm very cautious when with what I share on this channel. And I'm always saying to Willis, I don't want you to share if you're not comfortable. If you're not comfortable, please don't share. And so, like, the fact that he's sharing all of this, I'm just, like, mind blown. I still can't believe it. Hmm. No, hurry. Hi. I literally just pulled a hair off his nostril. That's why he goes. That's still in there, but we'll get it another day. Oh, man. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us again, Wallace. No worries. Lovely to see you. I'll see you in two thousand and twenty. <laughs> Don't ask me again, eh? Yeah. So um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, if you didn't already know, vlogs go up on a Monday and a Friday. And also, my name is Sandra, and this is my husband Willis. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Uh, we will see you later. Bye.